So uh, today I'll briefly talk about the Theta network and I will discuss how we can potentially disrupt the video, in the video streaming industry with an on-chain and off-chain hybrid solution. Uh, so Alan, if you can scroll back to the yeah. previous slide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah, so next slide, please. Okay, so, uh, so, uh, so let's start with the landscape of today's video streaming industry. Uh, the image on the right side of the slide shows the projected growth of the global IP traffic from 16 to 21, estimated by Cisco. It is pr projected that by the end of next year, more than two-thirds of the internet data are video data, which could amount to hundreds of exabytes. And, and not just by this statistics, I, I think anecdotally, most of us would agree that we are heavier and heavier user of online videos, especially during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic situation, where many of us are trapped at home. In fact, I guess at, at this very moment, so everyone is attending this seminar, is watching through online video on a certain shape or form, right? Be it on theta.tv or YouTube Live or uh, through Zoom. However, despite all this uh, massive growth, there are many growing pains. First is the high cost associated with the stream delivery. So in fact, I think this is one of the biggest cost items of the major video platforms. Uh, secondly, uh, video platforms don't typically reward users for their attention. Viewers might, might be forced to watch ads which they don't want to, but they receive no reward for the time they spent and leading to a suboptimal user experience. And finally, and most importantly, content creators are not rewarded fairly. The platform takes significant cuts from the, the content creator, creator's earnings, but provides no transparency. So for example, uh, for streamers that run in ad-supported streams, the video platform might arbitrarily uh, give them the number of the ad deliver, right? Uh, ad impression deliver, throughout the months, but without any proof. And so the streamers have no way to actually verify that uh, he, he or she actually get the full earning amount. So at Theta Labs, we'll, we'll, uh, we believe that this trillion dollar uh, video industry is ripe for disruption. And today we'll, we'll discuss how Theta can potentially be the disruptor by providing a on-chain, off-chain hybrid solution. Uh, so next slide, please. So this slide shows how Theta solved this growing pains. So Theta constructs a sharing economy, so which creates a community sharing bandwidth with other peers. Just think of Theta as Uber or Airbnb, but uh, just for access bandwidth. As an example of how Theta works, just imagine you are uh, watching the uh, NBA, NBA final games. Right? Since it, it is a popular content, so uh, as you watch a game, your neighbor will, will probably also watch the same stream as well. So, and since you guys are consuming the same content, why bother to pull all the stream data from the CDN directly, right? So instead, uh, you, can, you can pull the stream and then your neighbor can pull from you. So this way, the CDN bandwidth usage can be reduced significantly. So in fact, in our production stream, so 40% to 60% of the video data can be offloaded. And then, so this solved the first pain point. Uh, next slide, please. The second and third pain point revolves around the reward for the viewers and the content creators. This can be effectively resolved through Theta's incentive, incentive structure. As the viewers share the stream, uh, video stream with other viewers using the unused bandwidth, they can help reduce the student cost for the video platform, hence they should be rewarded for their contribution. So in our Theta economy, the platform rewards the viewer with a Theta fuel token for the bandwidth they share. Uh, thus, as the viewer watching the stream, they're earning tokens with economic values, right? This address the second pain point. Uh, and, and for the, uh, with the reward tokens, the, uh, the, the viewer can, you know, do uh, on-chain on virtual gifting directly without the platform taking a cut. In addition, the Theta blockchain introduces a, uh, a special mechanism we call split contract so that during a live stream, it can be reward a content creator in real time proportional to his viewership. So this provides a more fair avenue to reward the content creators. And we will dive into more details later in this presentation. Uh, next slide, please. So all this sounds great in theory, right? But uh, as we implemented the state network, we have to address a set of non-trivial technical challenges in order to uh, resolve the pain points. This slide provides a brief overview of the technical challenges and touch upon how we address these hurdles using a hybrid of on-chain and off-chain techniques. First, to effectively reduce the CDN bandwidth usage, the network needs to have the capability to support ultra high throughput data delivery in real time in order to potentially support millions or even uh, tens of millions of uh, concurrent viewers. 
So we achieved this by a topology consisting of viewers watching the game in real time and some dedicated caching nodes. Uh, secondly, so with the high number of concurrent viewers, the, this data blockchain needs to uh, support high transactional throughput for uh, this data field token reward. And we solve this with a unique off-chain payment, payment pool construct. And finally, uh, transparent created reward requires provability and auditability. And we can achieve this uh, design properties through direct on-chain virtual gifting and a specialized smart contract we call three contract. Uh, we design specifically for the video streaming use cases. So next, I will dive into the more details of each of these buckets. Uh, next slide, please. So this slide shows how the data network works, right? To address the first challenge, uh, which is the, uh, the ultra high uh, throughput real time data deliver, uh, delivery problem. So uh, in addition to direct video sharing between the viewers watching the stream simultaneously, the data network also have a set of almost 3000 dedicated edge cachers spreading around the world operated by very, our very active uh, community. They form the backbone of the delivery network and because they are closer to end viewers than the city and data centers, they can provide better coverage for the viewers around the world. Also, in addition to this edge cacher nodes, we also have more than 1,000 blockchain consensus nodes, right? Uh, so this nodes runs the, the, the consensus protocol, and they are operated by a wide variety of uh, different uh, vendors, right? In, including enterprise validators like uh, Google, uh, like Samsung, and also uh, like blockchain, uh, sorry, uh, like, like Binance, like big exchanges. And, and more, more importantly, uh, a lot of this now are also operating by our community members, right, on their personal laptop, their personal computers. So they, they, they work together and, and then participate in, in, in this full consensus to help us to secure the blockchain, to secure the on-chain component. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this slide provides some more, a uh, little bit more technical detail on how the edge cachers and the viewers uh, form a, a unified network. Uh, I know I want to know that the CDN is still in the picture as a fallback mechanism, just in case the content is not fine in the neighboring nodes, right? Uh, and our the the, pair, the peers, uh, the viewers and the edge cachers, they are paired together by a set of tracker servers, which can be co-located with edge cachers, or they can be ind independent run by the community or the video platform. So together, all these nodes form a highly efficient network for peer-to-peer -peer data delivery and is able to scale itself, adapt to a, a, a ever-growing user base. Therefore, uh, we can see that the challenge of high throughput uh, data delivery can be addressed by uh, our data network. Uh, next slide, please. Now, now that we have an on-chain, uh, off-chain, uh, sorry, an off-chain network that can deliver video data to the needed users, our next task is to reward the bandwidth sharing in real time. So the, the major challenge here is uh, transactional throughput. As many of you might have uh, might be aware, a uh, traditional blockchain like Bitcoin and Ethereum can only support a very limited transactional throughput. Like even with the latest proof state uh, based protocols, uh, many of the chains can support an order on, of only like 1,000 transactions per second on chain, right? So in order to support the large concurrent viewers and, and, and so the large concurrent payment, when we designed the state of blockchain, we, we decided to provide a native support for off-chain micropayments. In particular, we noticed that uh, the traditional payment channel can only support uh, a, a, a payments between two, pay two parties, while uh, the stream sharing could involve multiple parties, right? Because one viewer, he can pos potentially share stream with multiple peers. So thus, we designed a micropayment uh, pool concept, leveraging the specialty of digital data, and which enables many-to-one off-chain payment and can effectively prevent double spending. So, but due to the time limit, I, well, we don't have uh, the time to go through the nuts and bolts of the, the, the payment protocol, but you can find more details on the medium post provided on, on this slide. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so this slide shows that, uh, provides some example on what the viewer can do, right? After they earn the SETA token, SETA fuel token uh, by, by sharing that bandwidth. So they can use it for a uh, discounted purchase, right? Uh, for example, some kind of movie here, uh, they can use it to disable ads, right? This will increase engagement and, and, and the revenue of the platform as well. So this is definitely a win-win situation, right, for the platform and its users. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, now let's get to the third pain point and see how Theta can provide a more transparent reward to the content creators. So Theta achieved this too, uh, this, this, this goal through two mechanisms uh, with on-chain cryptographic proofs. So first, uh, Theta provides support direct donation to the content creators through on-chain transactions, right? 
the left image is actually an example of uh, how a theta field domination can be done on theta.tv. And secondly, uh, theta implemented a unique specialized smart contract we call the split contract. So that uh, before a stream starts, the content creator or the streamer, he, can, he or she can specify a split percentage, right? For example, say 25% such that each chief view uh, the platform review for, uh, to the user for bandwidth sharing, 0.25 of the chief view will go to the content creator, such that uh, the, the smart, so that the smart con uh, the split contract actually provides a transparent and auditable mechanism for the content creators to, to, reward, uh, to be rewarded based on his or her viewership, right? So because the more viewers he has, he or she has, the more data will be shared among the viewers and hence more data view will be split to him or her, right? So all this, and, uh, and very importantly, all of this reward are auditable on chain, so which address the transparency issue. So uh, next slide, please. Yeah, we have about uh, one minute left. Okay, exactly. So I'm coming to my conclusion slide. So, uh, so this final slide uh, concludes my talk. So uh, I think in this short presentation, we overview the whole video streaming industry. And, and then we, we touch upon his growing pains, right? And then we uh, spend the remaining of time and to, 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 to talk about how Theta can actually uh, solve this, this, uh, the, all these this pains like, through an on-chain and off-chain hybrid solution. So, uh, so I want to thank you everyone here to, uh, to, 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 to tune in to the talk and I'd like to return the mic to Alan for the Q&A session.